Hey, good evening, everybody. It's Kale Casey and Sam Harrell here, two of your information officers with the Alaska Incident Management Team, and we are live right now in Chalkitsik. The village is right behind us. You're on one of the sloughs, and Sam Harrell has been here for two weeks. He's gonna stay a couple more days with me, and then I'll be here on my own. So Sam, bring us in. What's going on here? Four fires were lightning start fires out here on the landscape east of Chalkitsik. And two of them, the Bear Nose Hill fire and the Frozen Calf fire, were immediate threats to the village. The relative humidity has been in the 30s and the 20s. It's very hot and dry here. We've seen thunderstorms all around the area that have produced lightning and more fire starts in the area. Most recently, a fire start just two and a half miles the other side of Chalkitsik this morning. Initial attack responded. Smoke jumpers came in, helicopters with buckets from our fires responded over there to lend assistance, and it's looking that they've got a really good handle on it. These are some pretty big fires out here that are going to continue to smoke and put up smoke until there's a season-ending event. There's going to need to be day after day of wetting rains to be able to put this to bed. Most likely, it's going to be winter is what's going to do it. And that's what I think folks maybe don't understand because it rained in Fairbanks when I flew out this morning. It's been raining in uh, Willow and Wasilla area a couple days ago. It was, it's been wet around the Anchorage area. Yeah. But you fly way north up here to northeast Alaska, closer to the Yukon and the, the Can Canadian border, and it is dry and hot. And right now, I don't know if you can see this at home, folks, but right over our shoulder, this is the front. It is within a couple miles of this village right here where the firefighters made their stand when the villagers, and you described that to me when we were talking earlier, that they stood right here and they watched this big flame front. Big plume, we could see trees torching out here and, and the plume was very large. It seemed like the fire was very close, but in reality, there's an abandoned oxbow here and a second one, both of these to the east of Chalkitsik, and it's on the far side of these two oxbows on the east of Chalkitsik that we have our fire line constructed. And so it is a couple of miles yet to the east of Chalkitsik, but still living here, it seems pretty close, especially when you have a plume building right here next to you. Fortunately, the smoke impacts on the village itself haven't been that great day after day. We've certainly had our smoky days here and concern for our residents, concern for our firefighters, concern for the elders and children here in the town.